All right, so today's video, we're going to Lucher Island. All right, so we made it to the island. Yeah. It seems there's a lot of activities here that people are doing, like sailing and tubing and stuff. We're not gonna do any of that. We're just gonna kind of wander around and check out the island. Okay, so I just checked on the map. It's actually not that big of an island, so we can spend the entire video just kind of walking around it. We don't need to pay for a bus. The beach looks absolutely gorgeous. I think there's a hotel on this island that you could stay at. So just a quick update for anyone wondering, how do I get to Wuzhou Island? So I'm coming from Sanya City, so it's a little bit far, but it was still doable by taxi. It was about 125 RMB, but there's also a bus that you can take. The taxi took about 40 minutes. You could end up taking like a bus. Uh, there's two public buses that you take. It'd be super cheap to, to get here. It would take about two hours. And then it was about a half an hour process getting on the boat and then waiting for the boat to leave and getting here. So if you're staying in Hohai or you're staying in Haitang Bay, you can literally just walk to the pier. It'd be like less than five kilometers. It's not that far. If you're staying somewhere like Yalong Bay, it might be like a 20 minute cab ride, 30 minutes maximum. So it's pretty easy to get here. Okay, so when I got to the south of the island, it looks like the beach kind of stops, but there's a path that seems to go inland. Let's go check that out. Um, I think that there's some scenic sites up there that you can check out. And maybe there's a tower you can get a view from up high on the island, I don't know. I haven't done a whole lot of research, so this is just as new for me as it is for you. So. Let's go check it out. And also we'll be in the shade too. It is hot today. Okay, now I'm actually like kind of away from the tourists and like on a path that's kind of in the jungle. So it's really humid. But this is what I've been aiming to try to get to. So it's like sunset rock. So let's head up there. And it started to be a bit of an ascent on this trail. So I'm optimistic that we're gonna get up decently high. We should have a good view. Okay, so we made it to the rock. Let's go check this out. This actually was not that far of a walk. According to the watch, it's been less than two kilometers since we got off the pier. So you don't need to take a bus like these other people. Just walk, it's, it's really quick. Took less than 25 minutes and I was wandering around. Woohoo! Check that out. That is one view. Check that out. I guess it was worth the walk. Now you can pay extra money to go up there, but you don't really need to. Seems like a bit of waste of money. You can pay like 200 and some fly. I saw a sign. Let's take a look at this bay, yeah? Oh, it'd be amazing to be able to go down and swim there, but probably not allowed. That current looks pretty intense. Yeah, so what do you think of that view? Oh, there seems to be like another path down there. So we could try to head over there. I just want to look quickly over here. Look at that view. I'm guessing we're pointed yeah. south. Yeah. So that's just straight ocean until you hit Malaysia or Indonesia. I'd have to, no, no, not even, yeah, you'd have to look at a map. But uh, if you know the answer, write it in the comments below. So I was pretty keen on like walking around the island, but all the roads that divert from this road to that rock are closed with no real reason. So whatever get used to things just always being blocked and you can't go down them and they're whatever. So we'll walk back to where we were and see that if we can at least find some other paths and find like different part of the beach, maybe I'll head back to the pier and I'll go the opposite way that I came out, which is when I came out, I went right. So let's start to try to go left. Okay, so it looks like we've come out on the other side of the pier, which is not so bad. I know that I was looking forward to using those other roads, but let's see how far east we can go down the beach. All in all, there's not too much on the island itself, but the actual beach and water around the island is pretty sick. Well, it seems like there's a road. A road so we can kind of go that direction and hopefully get to some of those other sightseeing points. Oh, dope. Okay, look at that. Looks like there's a pagoda up ahead that you can actually go on. Okay, we're at the pagodas now. Let's check it out. Should be some good sea views out here. Yeah, this island's not so bad after all. There's a good view of the beach and the pier and the Atlantis Hotel. Let's see if we can actually see the Atlantis water park from here. You might not be able to see it on the GoPro. No, sorry, the Atlantis is over there. Okay, yeah, this is a great place to come and take photos. And check out the water down there. Oh, 
it's so clear. I bet you you're not allowed to swim because it doesn't seem like they have a lifeguard over there. Seems like there's designated beaches where people can swim, but still, like, it's not too crowded, right? So safety first, and Ma! you're gonna still have, oh, there's a person yelling behind me. Well, children get a pass for shouting. All right, let's go check out this viewpoint over here. Oh, sailboats. That bay, this bay looks incredible. If I ever come back to Sanya, and I probably will, so I might take my next travel vacation here, I'm gonna spend the money and stay at one of those hotels. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be able to walk out for quite a bit. All right, I'm quite optimistic now about how much more we can see on this island. I've only, we've already been here for like 45 minutes. I've already done more than three kilometers. So let's go down by the beach. Let's uh, see how much more we can see. I don't think that there's gonna be another couple kilometers in hiking around this island. Um, but all in all, it's gonna be, have been okay. If you come to this island, you have to bring your swimsuit because there's so much opportunity for good swimming. Well, except for here, no swimming. Okay, looks like we're coming to the end of the path. Um, up ahead, there's a sign saying, don't go past here because the view would be amazing. And there's a guard up in the tower who's super excited to tell you to stop. We'll get as close as we can. Look, he's all, he's so excited. I'm just gonna come up here. Oh, we can go down there. It's just, you can't go down that way. Okay, dope. So he's so disappointed that he can't tell me that I can't come here at least. All right, this is pretty cool. This is a dope view. Nelly Bunanzoma. Oh, yeah, see, he's so happy. Look at that, it would have been a dope view too. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the last part of the island that we uh, are able to come see and walk around by ourselves. Um, I'm gonna walk back to the pier after this and we're gonna go check out the Hohai village. Maybe do some surfing. It depends on how busy the beach is, but uh, yeah, we haven't even done four kilometers. So if you come here, don't buy the ticket for the bus, uh, the, the trolley that takes you around, unless you you're here with old people or children. If you're young, like me, you could just go walk for it. Don't be lazy. You can walk it. And today is scorching hot, but I was able to do it. And I'm sure you're in better shape than I am. So save your money get a good hike in, get some exercise, and you can see all of this in less than an hour. It was less than an hour. Yeah, see, you're not even allowed to go out there. The guy's so excited to tell you. Okay, so I came back from the island, the Wujer Island, and now I'm in Hohai Village. So we're gonna go check out the beach. I wanna see like if there's a lot of surfers. If it's not too busy, I might give it a try, but if it, if it looks like it's not gonna be enjoyable, I'm not gonna do it. I have a feeling that the beach is on the other side because where we came in off of the off of the ferry i didn't really see anybody on the beach and i've been told that there's tons of surfers and surf schools so i think it has to be on the other side otherwise i would have seen it so i think we're going to take a right up here and uh yeah we'll go check out the beach area well this kind of has like a thailand feel because there's bars and restaurants but the beach should just be up ahead Lots of surf shops. I'll come back, rent a board if it looks like it makes sense. Oh yeah, look, there's bars and everything. Why don't they have this in Sanya Bay? This place looks cool. All right, the beach is right up here. Let's, this is gonna make the decision for me what it looks like. It looks like there's a fair amount of people, but uh, let's check it out. Oh yeah, there's all these bars here. Everybody loves this song. I hate this song. All right. I don't think these waves are big enough. Someone my weight is not gonna be able to ride those waves in. Uh, I'm just gonna sink. This is like, these are, I don't know if you can see from the camera. Let's go up closer, have a look. I just, I don't wanna step in the water. Let's see if I can get closer and show you. Okay, as you can see, like the waves, like it seems like they go just about they go just about like knee height or whatever, and it seems to be fairly slow. This seems like it'd be very kid friendly to learn surfing. Okay, so yeah, it was cool we saw the beach, but I think someone, like I said, um, those waves are a bit small, so I'm not gonna spend the time. But yeah, it's definitely worth coming to Hohai Village. Um, it definitely has those chill Southeast Asian vibes, little restaurants by the beach like you just saw back there, little bars. Um, so I'm probably just gonna end the video right here. 
So hope you liked what I showed you of uh, the Hohai Beach, the little village. Hope you like the, the views on the island too. So if you're in Sanya, it's definitely worth a day trip. You can come do both of those things in one day. I started out today at noon. So if you've got a full day, and if you've got kids, come down to Hohai to surf. So, all right, I'll see you soon.